How'd you get in there? anos depois, Ash Williams está de volta. Se você não sabe quem é Ash Williams, você tem duas opções. Bater com a cabeça na parede até o seu vizinho reclamar, ou aproveitar essa segunda chance que a vida te dá e assistir a nova série Ash vs Evil Dead. é simplesmente o maior herói de todos os tempos do cinema e que vai passar a ser o maior herói de todos os tempos na televisão. Ash é foda porque ele se manteve exatamente o mesmo depois de tanto tempo. Hollywood destrói os seus melhores heróis. O John McClane, a cada sequência de Duro de Matar, deixava a humanidade para trás e se transformava num personagem chato, sem carisma, desnecessário. Outro exemplo é o Dom Toretto de Velozes e Furiosos, que era humano nos primeiros filmes e passou a ser um super-herói indestrutível. Ash Williams nunca caiu nessa armadilha. Ele era humano, errado, problemático, confuso, pretencioso, errado, sim, duas vezes errado, e o tempo não mudou, cara. O cara continua errado, velho, mas errado. E a série faz uma transição sensacional do personagem dos filmes para a televisão. Bruce Campbell, o maior e mais carismático ator de todos os tempos, terrivelmente injustiçado por Hollywood, volta ao papel principal, o roteiro continua com Sam Raimi e o seu irmão, os efeitos especiais são práticos, Sam Raimi, sua câmera, enquadramentos e movimentos geniais continuam em plena forma, tudo o que qualquer fã poderia pedir. Ash vs Evil Dead entrega o que os fãs esperavam. O primeiro episódio entrega um Ash 13 quilos mais gordo atualizado, mas pronto para enfrentar novamente o demônio, exatamente como sempre, com uma má vontade desgraçada. E os coadjuvantes Pablo e Kelly funcionam perfeitamente para o novo público entender quem é o Ash. Ele é o cara mais legal de qualquer lugar e ele vai entrar na sua cabeça, mais cedo ou mais tarde. O Ash é tão foda que se ele tivesse em The Walking Dead ela seria a melhor série de todos os tempos. Aliás, eu vou dar aqui uma dica para melhorar Game of Thrones. Coloque uma serra elétrica na mão do Jaime Lannister que a coisa vai ficar sensacional. Você percebeu que eu fiquei empolgado pra caralho com Ash vs Evil Dead, a ponto da minha opinião estar tá completamente tendenciosa? Deixe a sua resposta nos comentários. O Nerd Rabugento é um canal independente que não tem patrocinadores. Se você gosta disso e quer que o canal continue assim, vira o patrão! Faça o canal crescer cada dia mais. E não perca nenhum novo vídeo. Inscreva-se e me siga no Twitter e no Facebook, que é por lá que eu aviso todas as novidades. E se você ainda não viu, assista os vídeos anteriores. Eu realmente sou fã de Ash vs Evil Dead e eu fiquei muito feliz da série manter o ar dos filmes, o ritmo, a diversão. Fazia muito tempo que eu não assisti uma série com um sorriso idiota no rosto durante todo o primeiro episódio. Agora é torcer para a série manter o ritmo. Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. On Halloween, Stars premiered uh, their new show, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Everyone who knows me knows that I'm a wee bit of an Evil Dead fan. Uh, I like Sam Raimi's work in general. Him and Rob Tappert and the rest of the crew uh, that, that he works with, especially Bruce Campbell, uh, always do a fantastic job when they get together and do stuff that they really enjoy. The original Evil Dead is one of the best examples of what you can do with a little bit of money and a whole lot of hard work when it comes to independent filmmaking. The second Evil Dead is a great example of what you can do once you know what you're doing making a movie. <laughs> Uh, it's one of the most perfect blends of real horror and real comedy that I've ever seen. And Army of Darkness was just a tremendous amount of fun uh, and, and an example of what you can do when you give crazy people a huge budget to work with so they can make all of their dreams come true. 
Now, Ash vs. Evil Dead picks up a long time after Army of Darkness because, well, Bruce Campbell's the star and he's gotten a little old, as happens in the real world. So he's still playing Ash, but this is Ash who has been slacking off for the last uh, 30 years, 20 years, and uh, has uh, not really kept himself in the best shape. He's still the same wisecracking, womanizing, oddly lucky uh, dude with uh, one hand that we know from Army of Darkness. And he still makes really stupid mistakes that end up making things really bad for everyone. And that all comes together nicely in the pilot episode, which uh, you can see for free on the Stars uh, website. Uh, I don't think they're going to be putting the rest of the series up there as it airs. Uh, so if you don't have a Stars subscription, you're going to be kind of out of luck because it's not going to be on Amazon, and it's not going to be on Hulu, and Stars doesn't have a standalone service of their own yet. So, without a cable subscription, there's no legal way to see it. Which is unfortunate, especially for people like me who would like to see it. But I will be eagerly awaiting when it shows up on Netflix uh, in about a year. The show itself is a fantastic mix of uh, scares and comedy and utter ridiculous slapstick, a lot like Army of Darkness was. So if you liked Army of Darkness, you will really like this show. Because it's on stars, they can get away with some stuff that they couldn't have gotten away with in other places. So yes, there are some sexy scenes and there is a tremendous amount of blood uh, that comes gushing out of the deadites as is proper. The uh, humor uh, ranges from uh, kind of clever to downright sophomoric, which, again, if you're a fan of Army of Darkness, you kind of know what you're in for. Uh, the supporting cast so far has been pretty solid. Uh, we got introduced to a couple of the characters. Uh, we got a brief glimpse of Lucy Lawless, who we know is going to be uh, kind of a second lead. That's something that I wish I would be able to see uh, firsthand, but I'm going to wait. The uh, overarching story that's set up, well, Ash has done something stupid, and uh, there's deadites around again, and they're after him, and everyone else. So he's had to dust off the chainsaw, clip it onto his hand, and uh, put together a ragtag bunch of... Uh, deadite fighters to go out and save the world yet again. It's got action, it's got comedy, it's got heart, uh, mostly from the supporting characters because we all know Ash is a bit on the dull side. Uh, when it comes to heart, he, he doesn't get it. <laughs> uh, it's fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I highly recommend it to uh, anyone who can watch it. Definitely check out the uh, pilot episode on uh, on stars and if you have stars watch it and if you are watching it let me know in the comments if it continues to be good because i'm curious don't uh, don't worry about spoiling anything for me uh just tell me whether or not it's awesome definitely if you're a evil dead fan uh, let me know in the comments we can talk about evil dead movies i can talk about evil dead movies all day uh, love all of them for different reasons, uh, including the reboot they did, which is a completely different flavor uh, from what we're getting in this Stars show. If you like what I have to say about all this, give me a thumbs up right down there underneath the video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can get notified as I put these things out, which is still daily, going to remain daily until at least the end of the year. And if you know anyone else who's an Evil Dead fan or has an opinion on uh, these shows and what and everything else I'm talking about, uh, share this with them so we can get them involved in this conversation. I'm Kier, and that's it for today, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.
Again.